If you create scenes, you can organize big projects and separate animations from each other. You can choose between various transitions and add them between two scenes. I've already created a scene with a small animation and a background to show you what scene transition is. Now let's add the second scene. Do this by clicking on Scene, Add Scene. Now the second scene will appear in the scene overview. Create a small animation in our second scene and add a background to it. OK, our small animation is finished. You now need to tell Web Animator when to load the new scene. Set this after your first scene has finished. To do this, switch back to your first scene and choose the On Animation Finished option from the Scene Event Properties. Now select Load Scene from the drop-down menu, then choose your second scene. We want our new scene to fly in from the right hand side, so we choose the Slide from Right option in the Transition drop down menu and set its duration to 1.5 seconds. When you will preview your movie now, you will see how the second scene starts automatically after our first one has finished.